What's good, y'all? It's your boy Geshi here again with some more gameplay, and this time around, I got something different for you guys. I got some NZ71 gameplay, and in this NZ71 gameplay, I was just going around, you know, streaking on there. I just wasn't really doing much. I'm just, just, just playing the game. Now, I want to start changing up the way I do things routinely around here. Like, I'm not just going to be posting one clip of each the gameplay, you know? I'm going to just start posting at least, like, three clips per video so you guys can get some watch value, you know what I mean? It's not really fun to just watch one guy run around the map for 10 minutes in one game, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm chopping the videos up a little bit so you guys can see more action and less, like, you know, just walking around. Because I like, I want you guys to see action and you know what I mean? I don't just want to play shit in as well. But yeah, this game is probably pretty fun. This gameplay is pretty fun, excuse me. I noticed in the last few videos, I'm over here stuttering and slurring my words. Look at the Krampus running after this guy. The Krampus was pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have as much problems with him as everyone else did. Like, I'm glad they did something for the holidays, you know what I mean? He was annoying, but at the end of the day, they get something for something random in the game. He really isn't that overpowering. You can kill him if you have enough people with you. But yeah, the NZ71, really, really nice gun. Honestly feels like a mini bar. Honestly feels better than but I haven't really used a bar that much, so I can't really say much on that. As you can see, I got my attack dogs quick. Some, some of the, some of these gameplays, I've just been playing and just having such a good time that I don't even notice that I'm on kill streaks. It's crazy. Um, Call of Duty, it's, it's doing it this year. You know what I mean? It's, what, like, so, I, after Christmas, like a whole bunch of Christmas noobs got on, so it got really fun and got really easy. It's not as uh, sweaty as it was a second ago. It's really nice now. Um, so I. I it all depends. I can't really say I recommend buying it. Now, if you've been a Call of Duty person most of your life, then heck yeah, go out and buy this game. You know what I mean? It's just, it's like any other Call of Duty. You've got that euphoric, you know, like history involved in it, especially if you've been playing for years. So, it's a good game. But yeah, let me, let's, let's look at some of this gameplay here for a second. I was doing, I was going in on these guys over here. I was just going back and forth and just, just murking them. And then, like, I don't know, like, the gun battles that you win with the NZ-71, it seems unfair. It's a definitely a gun that you need to get the first few bullets on a person. Otherwise, you're probably going to lose a gun battle. But once you get those first few bullets on a person, you're definitely going to win that gun battle. Like, it's perfect. Like, and you could run around with it as well. I don't, I didn't show my class here. Happy New Year, by the way. It's like, it's, it's New Year's Day of the time I'm recording this. So, Happy New Year, you know what I mean? Happy Holidays. But yeah, use the right attachments on this thing. Like, it, it, you could run and gun with it almost like a submachine gun. It's but it's vital that you don't miss those first few shots because otherwise you're gonna get out gunned by any submachine gun. Look at how fast I mow these two guys. Look at look at how fast I mow those guys down. Like it's effortless, and then I just keep mowing everyone down. And so it's such a good gun. Now, can I sit, look, look at this right here. You see this guy kills me. Notice that he kills me there. Now, in the next Hotel Royale game, because I have three gameplays here. The first one's on Hotel Royale and this one. The next one, I lost this game, is what it is. I don't know how we lost, is what it is. But yeah, I got 75 kills, 21 deaths. But in the next Hotel Royale game, someone does that same formation. I don't know why people camp like that, but I get them. And that's why I left that death in there so you guys can see me get them in the next gameplay. But this one is a Patrol on Radar, the Modern Warfare 3 remake. I love a uh, Modern Warfare 3 remake of Dawn, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm not completing my sentence, but I love this map. This map, I've spent so many hours of my life on this map. I, I switched to the NZ-71 a little bit late in the game because I was using the PPSH and I was going to destroy it, but check this out right here. This will definitely give you a good sign of how good this gun is. Just see how fast it kills everyone. I go on, I think, a seven or eight kill streak right here. Just. Just, and I didn't even mean to. I was just sitting around here. I noticed the patrol drones right there. So I'm like, all right, let me just watch these guys get to this area because I know they're going to be coming. And then I noticed that the, and I was just about to run out and go. And then I saw this guy. I'm like, whoa, like they're just coming out of nowhere. Mortar bomb, sure, whatever. I'll take them. And then another guy comes. And then another guy comes. It's like they're just coming out of nowhere. I'm like, all right, cool. You see how fast it kills? It's just unfair. Like they don't even have a chance. Like, so I went on an eight kill streak right there easily. And then I mow these two guys down. It's like, honestly, if there's two or three people, it's one of the very few guns in the game that you won't feel like you're just wasting ammo by just shooting. You'll actually like kill those people if they're in front of each other. Look at this. I was going to end this game with this gun. I love this gun. I love this gun. I gotta start using it a little bit more. I stopped using it as a, a little. Stop using it a little bit because I'm trying to get more guns. Gold right now. I'm working on the M19. 
uh, M20, M29, M1913, the Tommy gun. I'm working on that right now. And the next gameplay I'm gonna post is me trying to get it gold, and I'm doing some things while trying to get it gold. Uh, I'm just, I'm just trying to get the slide kills. It's actually on radar on this map here. I was getting slide kills. Look at this. Look at, look at this. Even when I look, destroy the dog, then destroy another person. I love this guy. But yeah, I'm, tr I'm just trying to get some slide kills. You know the, the kills that you have to get in order to get the gun gold. I was trying to get those slide kills, and I ended up going ham and almost getting a nuke. So I was like, what in the world? This guy's trying to get it gold. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for the channel now. Like, because I, I, I love posting BC gameplays, but everyone does that. You know what I mean? It's, I just, I wanna like post like what I'm actually doing and what I actually wanna do in this game is like see how close I can get to actually completing it. Look at this double kill right here. Look at how it mows these guys down. I didn't even know it was two people right there. But yeah, I'm just trying to get my accomplishments done because I always want to 100% a game and I always want to see what I can do and how many achievements I can get. So, and I always want to get my guns gold. So why not do a, a series of where I'm trying to get my guns gold and in those matches I show what challenges I'm going for and if I end up going ham, I post some BC gameplay of it. Like I never expected to almost get a nuke while playing trying to get my gun gold with a challenge it's crazy look at this right here i'm just these guys just keep coming and i just keep going i'm telling you right now this gun is beastly it just keeps mowing everyone down like the gun battles if you have accuracy and good connection that matters i'm gonna tell you right now good connection matters if you do not have good connection it's, it's gonna detriment you in this next gameplay on hotel royale with this nc71 it's this guy in this lobby that he, i didn't show most of the times he killed me but yeah i got 63 kills here decent little game you know uh, just like literally night and day difference from me and the rest of my team but it's just what we do you know nc71 gameplay but yeah on the next one here it's this guy here like i lose a lot of gun battles because his connection is just, uh, just a lot better than that. You'll see he's pretty much the only one who kills me in this game. And it's crazy because I lose I lose so many gun battles against him just simply because he has better connection. And most people don't realize how vital that is. Like I didn't notice it back in the day when I was obviously I didn't care. I was just happy to be playing the game. But as we get more competitive into this, you gotta start investing in connection because otherwise you're just gonna keep losing every gun battle. You're gonna be you're gonna swear to yourself you shot first. And because you did you really did shoot first, but at the end of the day, your connection didn't. So, the guy who you shot first that already saw you before you came around the corner. Now, if you want to do more research on that, by the way, just do so. But look, like, look at this NC-71. I'm just, I'm just going ham. I didn't even realize I had my dogs there. It was crazy. I love this gun. It's, when, you, when you just want to get on and just, like, not try that hard and you want to go and just shoot all over the map, you know what I mean? And just... Just relax for a second. Pull out that NZ71. You'll get whatever you need. You probably like it's it's definitely universal. Like I don't want to say what gun I think it's compared to because I get a lot of crap for it. But honestly, I would say if you ever play Black Ops, look at this. This is the play I was talking about. You see that formation? I don't know why people do that. It's always a person like aiming towards the center there, and then it's a person hiding, camping in that corner. Like in every game I play on Hotel Royale, it doesn't mean. Look at that feed! Oh my goodness! It's, it's just like this gun mows. People don't stand a chance. But yeah, I don't know why people try that formation. It just doesn't work. But I guess that's you know the typical camper being expecting. You know what I mean? It's a lot of new people to this game right now, so I can't really blame them. But yeah, like. This gun is, look at this, look at this shot right here. This long, it's, it's, it shoots the same across the map and up close, I love it. Oh, I love it so much, it's so fun, play. so fun. You guys definitely, just, just try out the game if you haven't yet. I know that they had a, uh, a free chance for you guys to try this game out. I hope they do that again so you guys can just see it before you buy it because honestly, it, it took me a long time before I started having fun with this. And I mean, it didn't take a long time. I started doing well when I first got it. And then it was a period where it was really like a, a big stalemate waiting for the update to fix a lot of things. And then I then I got bad at, during that time period, I took a break. But now it's all fun again and it's good again. So like everything's everything's better. It just feels like older Call of Duty. It's nothing like new. It's like a, not a new hit or anything. But look at this. I had 98 kills. I was like, no, I gotta get that 100 kills. Now I shoot this guy, the guy I already shot, which is upsetting. I was running it. I was like, no, I cannot end this game with 99 kills. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Well, yep, there's a way. I didn't get my hundred kills. But at the end of the day, it was still a good match. You know what I mean? I do like this MZ71. It's a fire gun. If you guys want to use something that's easy to use, just pick up this MZ71. It's fire. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed all this, man. I hope you enjoyed hearing me talking all the time and just rambling on with my ADHD self and never keeping the topic of conversation for more than five seconds. I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope to meet more people like me in that instance. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and I hope you guys had a wonderful new year. Peace out, guys. I love you.